वेलकम टू टेस्का टेक्नोलॉजीज प्राइवेट लिमिटेड माय नेम इज आशिम दत्ता एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट थर्मल कंडक्टिविटी ऑफ मेटल रॉड एंड इट्स ऑर्डर कोड इज टू थ्री टू फोर सिक्स सिक्स वन जीरो पॉइंट फोर ए सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द कॉम्पोनेट एंड वर्किंग ऑफ दिस ट्रेनर सो दिस इज द थर्मल कंडक्टिविटी ऑफ मेटल रॉड ट्रेनर सो हेयर वी आर हैविंग द एच एम आई पैनल देन दिस इज द एनर्जी मीटर ऑन द एनर्जी मीटर वी विल मेजर द frequency voltage and the power then this is the main power on off switch then this is the led indicator so when we connect the control panel to the main supply which is ac so this led indicator will indicate that the power is provided to the panel so this is the another section of the thermal conductivity of metal rod so here we are having so this is the heating section so on the top this is the heating section and on the middle here you will see the intermediate section and on the bottom this is the cooling section then we are having three metals one we have placed in the intermediate section so metals we have to placed in the intermediate section here so you can easily remove these screws and you can remove the heating section and you can place any of the three metals so i have placed the aluminium one we are having brass stainless steel and aluminium so three sections are provided here we will place the metal so this is the brass one this is stainless steel and aluminium we have placed in the intermediate section so on the top this is the heating section then this is the intermediate section and on the bottom we are having the cooling section then these are the flow connectors and here we are having the two temperature sensors so this is the in temperature sensor and this is the temperature sensor for out and here we are having the drainage so from here the water comes in and through this path it goes here and then again comes to the drain part so now this is the back side of the control panel so here we are having heating section temperature connector then cooling section temperature connector then intermediate section temperature connector then water in out temperature connector and then flow sensor connector heater connector and this is the rs232 communication cable which we can use to interface this control panel with the software so now we have to do the connections of the heating section cooling section intermediate section water in out temperature sensor section and flow sensor and the heater so now we have to connect all the cables here so the heating section temperature cable will be connected so here you can see that the top wire this is the heater section so we have to connect this cable to the heater then we are having the, these three wires so these three wires are having a common port so we have to connect these at the heating section then we are having these two wires connected to a single port so this we have to connect with the intermediate section as it is the intermediate then in the bottom you will see this is the cooling section so we have to connect it with the cooling section and here you will see this is the water in out temperature sensor so we have to connect these cables to the water in out temperature port and this is the flow sensor connector section so we have to connect this cable to the flow sensor so that is how the connection is done so i have connected the heating section temperature to this section and cooling section temperature to the particular connection so you have to connect the sensors according to the connectors positions that are given in the control panel so after the connection is done now we will perform the experiment so now i will show you how you can place the metal in the intermediate section so for that firstly we have to unscrew these bolts So we have to remove both the screws 
and then we have to lift this heater section and now you can easily remove the metal section and you can place any of the metal which I provided here we have provided three metals so you can use any of the metal and then you can again place it and then you can again place the heater like this and now you can again screw the bolts so that is how you can change the intermediate section metal with these three metals you can place any of the metal in the intermediate section so now let's see the working of this thermal conductivity of metal rod trainer so we have done the wiring connections we have connected the sensors to its particular positions on the control panel on the back side of the control panel we have connected all the sensors and now we have to connect these flow pipes so this is the input so from here we have to connect this pipe to the main input supply so we have to connect this to any of the tap with a particular flow rate we can say 60 to 70 lph flow rate and there is another pipe that is connected here so this is the drain one so this is the in and this is the out so we have to connect the in of this trainer to the water supply of any of the tap and we have to connect this out to the drainage so already we have connected the pipe from the out section so you can place it at the drainage so now I have connected the input with the water flow so here you can see that I have connected the input section with the tap and I have supplied water in the input section and I have connected the drain to the drainage section and now we will switch on the control panel so here you can see that this is our control panel so now I have connected the control panel with the single phase AC supply so here you can see that the indicator LED is indicating that the control unit is connected to the main supply now we will switch on the main so here you can see that the energy meter is on so it will show the voltage which is single phase AC and the frequency and the power So now here on the HMI panel you can see we are having the heating section here we are having three temperature T1, T2, T3 which is showing the current temperature of the water and this is the intermediate section T4, T5 this also shows the current temperature of the water and this is the cooling section and this is the cooling water input section and this is the flow LPH section and this is the voltage current and watt and this is the heater on off switch and this is the heater intensity so now we will switch on the heater and we will set the heater intensity to 30 and you have to press enter so here you can see that I have set the heater intensity at 30 so now heating will start slowly so you will see the temperature changes in the HMI panel for the heating section for the intermediate section and the cooling section so now you can see that the temperature rises to 31 degree celsius at the heating section and at the intermediate section it is approx 26 and at the cooling section it is 33 and 23 and at the cooling water 
in out we are having the temperature 23.8 24.8 and here we are having the voltage current and watt reading and on the energy meter we are having the power reading so that is how you will see the temperature rise in the heating section so now here you can see that the temperature reaches to 43 degrees celsius so till the specified time we have to take the readings that is mentioned in the manual so now you have to take the reading and form the observation table that is mentioned in the manual so after some time you will notice that the temperature will get steady so it will take up to 90 minutes so after that you will see the temperature will not rise and it will get steady so at that time we have to take the observations so till the temperature reaches to the steady state we have to take the observations and form this observation table which is mentioned in the manual so here you can see that in the observation table we are having t1 t2 t3 t4 t5 t6 t7 t8 t9 fc this is the lph flow flow rate of the water and this is the power so all the readings you can take from the control panel so on the control panel here you will have the t1 t2 t3 then t4 t5 then t6 t7 then t8 t9 and flow rate also defined and you will have the power reading so you have to form this observation table and you have to do the calculations so that is how you can perform this experiment so that's all the demonstration from my side if you have any query related to this equipment you can contact the tesla global website you can find the link in the description for more information go through the manual thank you for watching this video if you like this video like share and subscribe to our channel Thank you.